Okay, so we've got the best burst AR in the game right now, and you guys are going to be able to farm it 30 times in about 5 minutes. Oh yeah, you heard me right. Alright then guys, what is going on? My name is Kyle Plays and welcome back to another Outriders video here on the channel. In today's video we have got a burst AR which you guys can get extremely easily and you can force it so that it has a high roll. So if you want a god tier of this weapon, make sure you're holding out to the end of the video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you're smashing the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. If you're watching this video as it goes live, I am most likely to be live on twitch.tv. We go live on there almost every day. The link is down in the description if you want to come and drop a follow, be greatly appreciated. Now with all that said and done, let's get into this. So for you guys right now looking for a best AR, which seems to be at the moment the best version of a rifle in the game as of right now. The tactical variants seem to be working very, very well. And this one right here is an easily accessible God tier level tactical AR. Now, for those of you guys who actually pre-ordered the game, you guys will already have this. If you guys didn't pre-order the game and you bought it afterwards, you guys can get hold of this for around five to seven UK pounds, US dollars, euros. It will all be around that. It's not that expensive whatsoever. Me myself, I got it through the pre-ordering process, but this right here is the Earthborn Renegades set. This is a part of the Hell's Rangers set that you guys get for the pre-order, or the side package that you can purchase, and inside this package you get 11 weapons. Inside those 11 weapons you get the Assault Rifle, and this thing kicks an absolute ton. Now there is a specific mod you are going to need if you want this to be completely god tier, but we're going to tell you guys how you guys can make the best version of this weapon and make a god founded weapon from this right here. Now, every time you get hold of a new character, you actually get a full inventory of the Hellworth Rangers set inside your inbox in your stash. So if you keep creating characters, make around 30 characters, because you can max out at 30 weapons in your general inventory, you can drag across from your inbox these weapons and put them into your stash. After you've done all of that, you go over to your main character, which is at its highest level, and then take all of them out. After doing that, you want to head on over to the mod station and you want to make them tactical variants. Now, tactical variants actually is a really, really good way to work this, and making them a tactical variant changes the role on the firepower. Now, you can only do this once per weapon, so as soon as you turn it into a tactical variant, the firepower will change. Now, although this is only a low level blue, you'll see how it makes sense in just a moment. So if you manage to get it round to about 360, maybe 370, you go into at level 50, get it up to about 90 to 93,000 firepower, which is insane. Now with everything that you kind of get on top of it, such as crit damages, status powers, long range damages, health regens, all of that good stuff, they roll really, really good packs on it. Now alongside of that you get some really good mods on the one that I've got. We've got Bone Shrapnel which is killing shots that detonate the enemy bones. Now I really like this so what we actually did with the one that we managed to make up was we put on another Bone Shrapnel knowing full well we were going to add on a second mod. So the Bone Shrapnel stays on there and we've now got a mod which is called Killing Spree. Now what this does is killing shots increase damage by 25% for the weapon for 20 seconds. Bonus de deteriorates with time and stacks up to 3 kills. Essentially the more things you kill the more damage you're going to be kicking out. And with a high level firepower that you guys are obviously making sure that you're getting because you're going to keep pulling these weapons out and keep rolling them into tactical variants until you get a very decent roll on it. This is how it pulls through. Now after you've done that you're going to be wanting to level it all the way up to the maximum level that you possibly can using your iron so obviously i recommend having quite a bit of iron in the stash for this one and make sure that you only use it on the highest variant possible that you've got and then you want to obviously convert the variant into a epic making it into an epic will level it up yet again creating quite a high damage firepower now i am not at a max level as of right now so i haven't got mine at about 90k although we have seen it done in other forms of other accounts this does work really, really well, especially with the killing spree. That perk works so damn well on tactical variants that it's just impossible. Now, if you put that onto a Technomancer or a Trickster and make sure you're using your anomaly rounds on top of that, this weapon is borderline unstoppable. With the right builds, you guys to make this weapon something to freaking remember. 
and the best thing about it is it's fully accessible to absolutely anybody as many times as you want. Now that is absolutely insane and we've obviously got a little bit of gameplay in the background. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it and hopefully this helps you out tenfold. Let me know what level it is you actually managed to roll yours at after taking it through to tactical variant. It'll be interesting to see what it is that you guys have done with this. If you haven't already, make sure you're smashing the beautiful blue thumbs up, subscribe if post notifications turned on. I appreciate all of your faces, Outriders. Thanks again for watching and as always, I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you.